Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us quickly look at the energy flow through different trophic levels. So if you look at this diagram, you can see a lot of different organisms and you can also see different trophic levels. So here this is sun. Sun is the uh, ultimate source of energy here. So from sun, the energy is utilized by the plants, which forms the first trophic level that is the producers. So plants are the producers. Now, how much energy are they going to use? They are going to use around 1% of energy from the sunlight, which is actually going to get converted into food. And here you see some amount of heat is lost. Some amount of energy is lost in the form of heat. Now, from first trophic level, it passes on to the second trophic level, that is the herbivores. These are those organisms which directly feed on plants. So if you see these are small insects which feed on plants, here also when the energy transfer takes place, a good amount of energy is lost as heat. So only 10% of energy is passed on to this level. Then these insects are in turn are eaten up by the third trophic level that is the first carnivore. So these are the primary carnivore. So these Again, here also some amount of energy is lost, so around 10% of energy is passed on to primary carnivore. And in a similar way, the fourth trophic level, which is occupied by the secondary carnivore, here it is a hawk. So here also some energy is lost as heat and around 10% reaches here. So the minimum amount of energy reaches the fourth trophic level. Now, when any of these plants or animals die, they are eaten up by the decomposer. So if you see here, plants also goes to the decomposer second trophic level, third trophic level, fourth trophic level, all of them finally go to the decomposers and here also some amount of heat energy is lost in the form of heat. So these are the decomposers. So if you see, if you look at the entire energy flow, you see that a lot of energy is lost in the form of heat. Since a lot of energy is lost in the form of heat, that is why we have the Lindemann's 10% law that only 10% of energy gets actually transferred from one trophic level to the next trophic level. So this shows the heat dissipation at each trophic level. So now that we have discussed about food chain, it is time to introduce you to food web. So in food chain, we were talking about linear series of animals which feed on one another. So in food web, we talk about the interconnected food chains. So here you see the structure, the picture which you see on the screen that gives you a web-like appearance, the spider's web, how it looks like. So it, this also looks very similar to that. So this is formed by interconnected food chains forming a web-like pattern as you can see here. Now why food webs exist? It exists because one particular organism can have variety of feeding habits. One particular organism can eat insects, that animal can also eat plants, that animal can also eat uh, bigger animals. So there are a variety of living organisms which that particular organism can eat and this gives rise to the concept of food web. So here if you see you have variety of plants that at the producer level. Now these plants for example I'll just explain one or two. For example here in this case these plants can be eaten up by a rabbit, this can also be eaten up by a squirrel, this can also be eaten up by a goat. Now this goat in turn can be directly eaten up by a tiger but the goat, so this is your goat and there is an option where the goat can directly be eaten up by the tiger. There is another option where the goat is not eaten up by the tiger. So that is also another option. There is another option where the goat is eaten up by another animal like a jackal. So that is also possible and this jackal in turn can be eaten up by the tiger. Correct. So if you look at it, the different organisms, different food chains also might get connected. For example, here, if you look at this one, so these are plants, plants are eaten up by these insects, 
the insects are eaten up by birds and the bird is eaten up by a snake. At the same, so snake forms a part of this food chain. This is one food chain. At the same time, there can be another food chain where the frog is eaten up by the snake again. So snake becomes part of both the food chains. So what do we see? Since animals have variety of eating habits, therefore the food chains get interconnected and these interconnected food chains form food web. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.